Well, it looks like we're live. Let me make sure I don't hear myself. <clears throat> okay. Welcome, one and all. I got uh, this package today. A Camlin 50mm f1.1 lens for micro four thirds. And I want you to enjoy unboxing it with me. Let's see what we have here. Now, this is going to be very interesting because that's the camera it needs to be on. <coughs> so, it comes with a lens cloth, a manual. Who reads manuals? Silica gel, which you definitely should eat. <coughs> Actually, I think it'll kill you if you eat it. A big chunk of foam that you might find useful in your video adventures. And uh, I think we have a lens here. Oh my god, it's heavy. This thing's really heavy. Like, I'm astonished at how heavy this thing is. So, that's got a Panasonic 25mm f1.7. This lens is very clearly very cold metal and is probably three times the weight of that lens. Uh, wow. The I read that these rings don't move very well at the beginning. <coughs> of course, I'd start coughing as soon as I live stream. That just figures. Oh, get some coffee. But I don't have a major problem with these rings on here. Uh, it's a pretty thing. Here, take a look. I'll get a little closer and uh, maybe you guys can see it too. Of course. Let's just do autofocus. Yeah, look at that. Look at that, that beautiful cylindrical piece of metal right there. So that's what we're going to be putting on this camera. Now, I've got it set up with a 25 there. This is a 50. <clears throat> so it's going to... Well, let's just say you're going to see a lot more of my face and a lot less of this window. So that camera is nice and far away. Um, we're going to hook this bad boy up to it. But before I do, it has a lens hood that won't come off. Oh, that lens hood is stuck really tight. Really, really tight. Oh. Okay. I got the lens hood off, but that was hard. That was way harder than I think it really ought to be. Funny enough, this bottom cap here keeps falling off, so... Let's see. The lens hood doesn't... There's no dot on the lens to tell you where to put the lens hood. So I guess you just kind of stick it wherever you want? I don't know. There is no guide dot for the lens hood. So, uh-huh. It, uh, the lens hood is being a pain. Yeah, this lens hood is going to be a pain. I, I actually think I'm not going to be able to put it back on without mounting this to the camera. So this is a manual focus lens, obviously. Um, if you look here, we have a focus ring here. here. Let's make this a little bit easier for you to see me. There we go. That's beautiful. A focus ring here. Focus on me, Mr. Camera. Focus on me. Yeah. Focus ring. Clickless aperture ring. The tension is pretty impressive. Um, the throw on that focus ring. Yeah, it is about, what, three quarters of a circle? Snappy cap. Snappy cap. And of the biggest aperture ever. Ooh, ooh, look at me, I'm pretty. That is a really big, fat aperture. Take a look at that beauty. 
what? It's like it's got its own expression here. So, I've I've never taken a lens off of one of these Micro Four Thirds cameras with it on. So, I'm going to turn the camera off. Everything's going to die for a minute. I'm going to switch the lens over, and then I'll be right back. All right, I'm not sure if you can hear me, but I'm getting the settings for this lens in. If it'll let me, it may not. Not that it matters. Uh, okay, yeah, you should be able to hear me. All right, let's see if we can get this tuned up here. Oh, uh, okay. Oh man, what? What's going on there? I got 2.8, 4, 5.6. That's the that's f16, and that's as dark as it gets. I'm gonna actually turn the display on over there because I can't really see f8. Oh man, this is fun. Okay, what are we doing over here? That's pretty cool. Okay. Wow. My head is really big. Okay, let's uh let's test this out. Let's test this out. Ooh. Ooh. Let's open it all the way. F1.1. Look at that. I am I'm like an angel. Angel of death. Or something. I don't really know. Let's see. ISO needs to go down. Bad. Okay. Oh, what about your shutter speed there? That's rough, too. Oh, come on now, microphone. Don't do this to me. There's a microphone cable in the way. Shutter speed's got to go up because it's just too much light. I, I had that at ISO 1600, and now we're at 200, and I'm not sure how I'm going to focus this. This thing has like, how am I going to focus this? Uh, clever ideas, anyone? Uh, maybe, here, let's, let's use this. This, this is dumb, but, but it'll work, so let's, uh, Let's do the focus thing. I'm going to get the focus assist up. And there we go. Ooh, it is soft. It is extremely soft. And the aberrations are extremely bad. Exactly as they said it would be. Let's see. You guys can even see the focus assist, so that's pretty cool. Not stabilized. Oof. There you go. There you go. Wide open. F1.1. F1.1. Oh, and I kicked the desk. It probably deserved it. Do I really have to turn that off manually? Yeah, I do. Boom. Okay. Now, I am very soft. Wow. Yeah. The box doesn't look too bad. But, uh,. Wow. Okay. Let, let's. I don't know exactly how far. What are we doing here? We got uh, two, four, something like that. Hey, I don't think anybody's watching this. That's okay. It'll be a video later. You can watch it later. Um, we got one, two, three, four. So it's about eight feet 
from this box to that camera. So let's set the, flip the focus here. Uh, yep, it says 8. It's right on 8. Now, let's find out how far back our focus actually can go. So pull up the focus assist again. Let's Hopefully you can see that. All right. I'm going to move it. I'm going to move that desk, actually. I'm going to move this box the slightest bit. How long does it take for it to go out of focus? That's like an inch. Eh? You know, for f1.1, that's not terrible. Although, ooh, did you see what happened when, I, when my neck got in the way? Oh, wow. It's like, look at the purple around my neck. That is some mad fringing right there. So high contrast, uh, not the best. Not the best. Oh, and there goes that box. No one cares. All right. So, boom. So, box. Okay. Probably should focus where you can actually see me. So, we're at f1.1. Um, now, just to give you an idea, here is about f2. There. So, here's the light difference. This is... This is F2. Maybe I should put the box back up. This is F2. The not in focus box. Here's F2. And this is how much more light you get with 1.1. So there's a difference, but it's not quite as big as you'd expect it to be. When I'm in the lower end, let's see, on my camera, the histogram does move, but it can't take full advantage of the uh, F1.1, I don't think. All right, let's get this back down to somewhere where we can actually see. How sharp is this lens? Well, that's pretty dark. Bring you up 400, 800, and stop it to eh, it's about 4.5 right there. That looks pretty nice. And probably needs to be in focus. Having focus peaking is very handy with this. So there we go. All right. It's a great lens for showing off your box. Look, I'm not even in the frame. Like, I'm... My head... Yeah, oh. Oh, dear God. I need hair. So, that's too bright. That's just a little too bright for my bald head to be in there. With this light. This is the worst light ever. Okay, so this is about what you can expect. <clears throat> Stop to F. That's actually a little higher than 5.6. It's like F6 or something. 6.3. But, yeah. What about F8? How is it at F8? Dark. It's dark at F8. How dark? Too dark. ISO 1600 and back a little bit so you can see me. How much detail can we resolve here? Okay. That looks good. Huh. My head still doesn't fit, but it looks good. At F8, it's uh it's actually pretty nice. I'm looking at it on the computer. That's actually pretty crispy. Yeah, that's pretty good. What's going on here? 
my uh, streaming is really heavy. Huh. Well, anyway, guys, I think that's probably enough of a test. Um, it's not like anyone's watching this. <laughs> no one. Yeah, there's literally, there's literally no one watching this live stream right now. But, there you go. That's a little bit of a test with the Camlin 50mm f1.1 on micro four thirds with a hood that, let me see if I can get it to work. Uh, can we get this hood on? Uh, oh man. Okay, the hood went on. It, it, it's on there now, but it didn't go on without a mad fight. So, I'm looking at the aperture and it's beautiful actually. It, it, it is really close to circular. So, yeah, this is, this is a pretty cool lens. And stop down to F8, stop down to F8, it actually does look pretty good. So, all right, I've played with this toy enough. Good stuff. Um, I'll probably post more actual videos with it soon. Maybe with uh, better lighting. You know. But I hope you appreciated this uh, impromptu unboxing and review. Have a good one. And I'll see you... Well, I don't know how I'll see you because you're over the internet. But I'll see you sometime. Some way. This is getting weird. Bye, guys.